Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 55. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be doing the Ascari 10 lap challenge. We are going to be taking the Lamborghini Aventador LP700-4 from 2011. 700 standing for the amount of horsepower this car actually had stock. Saying that because this car's actually got a couple of upgrades. It's got 770 brake horsepower now. And we are going to be driving it with uh, soft hard tyres. So let's, uh, that's the international A, that's the wrong one. We're looking for super today. Ascari Race Resort, 10 laps of the full track. Uh, we're gonna get 133,000, 133,000 credits if we come first. I can't speak today. Uh, the choices of cars are Lam uh, Ferrari California. Imagine if it was a Lamborghini. Uh, Viper GTS from SRT Dodge. And also the Lamborghini Gallardo, which bearing in mind we're in the Aventador, which is like 120 horsepower more. I think we've got a flying chance with this uh, event. I have a feeling this is going to be a long race though, because the Ascari track takes about two and a half minutes per lap. Um, even though it's shorter than Spa, it's all corners. Um, oh, look, we've got some Veyron, some Huayras, Murcielagos. Gallardos, like they said. We got two Murchilagos, actually. One of the normal ones and the Super Veloc as well. Interesting. Uh, let's make sure that our traction control is down. Uh, and make sure that we are running sports hards. Yes, we are. Right, and welcome to the Ascari racetrack. The resort racetrack. Which is an uh, interesting title for it. Um, I wonder if it's like a fun park or something shit like that. Um, one car that was on the car list that I noticed um, just after I stopped the clip is we have the Lamborghini Reventum as one of the opponents in this race. So it's going to be really exciting to drive against that. Um, not very great that corner, but we are re-overtaking the Ferrari with no problems whatsoever. Obviously, the uh, Super Series is... All of the past ones have been um, intermediate drivers. Um, and the beginners were, like, beginner difficulty. But this is uh, professional difficulty racing. Uh, which is why it's spread over more laps. Because it's much more difficult to catch up. These drivers are very skilled. Oh my gosh, that's Alexis LFA. In fact, you know what? I feel like fuel saving tactics are pointless if you're not trying to overtake in the first few laps. So we're throwing fuel saving out of the window for now. That should have been a corner cut. I'm so glad it wasn't. Bye bye, Lambo. Hello, Ferrari. We've got the um, first of the Murcielagos, the standard Murcielago in front of us there. Uh, but the Ferrari's trying to overtake us and be sneaky bugger. Uh, the Reventon actually is a mix between. I think it's a mix between. The Murcielago is very much like a Murcielago body base, but with some of the Gallardo design, like the simplified lines, and then painted in matte black and given a complete rework. Sold as a luxury car, and sold as only like one of a few. Like, look at that. It literally looks identical to the Murcielago with a couple of differences. But, 
the differences make it look so much better. What's that company called? Mansuri or something. I think that's what it's called. Makes um, custom Lamborghinis out of Aventadors. But they look absolutely awesome. I have a feeling for this we're going to be taking um, two pit stops. In fact, I don't have a slight feeling. I have a massive feeling we're going to be taking two pit stops. One on lap number four. I think we're going to do like lap number four and lap number seven like we did in Spa. That gives us the first few laps to try and overtake. Thank you very much. Get behind the Diablo. Pull out there. Perfect. And slowing down hard on the brakes here. There we go. Weave in between there. Right, we need to watch out for this corner here. I see a Bugatti Veyron in front of me. To be fair, I knew the Bugatti Veyron wouldn't do very well. Because, um... It is a very heavy car, and trying to get around corners is not easy. To be, as well, the um, Aventador that I'm driving right now is a very heavy car, but uh, it is nowhere near as heavy as that Bugatti Veyron, and it has much better brakes, as you can see. This is the smoothest the game has run all race. Look at that, 60 FPS. Oh yeah. I have a couple more games that I really want to play on this uh, PS3. That's pretty much it though. Like That's the only thing that I wanted to play on PS3. Really, was Gran Turismo. And Ridge Racer. Perfect. Is that a P1? I didn't think the McLaren P1 was... Oh no, it's the Hawaira. Yeah, that's going to be a challenge to catch up with that car. Because that car is a beast. Caught up. Look at that overtake. Try and beat that, Mr. Veyron. Very nice. This is going to require, like, because it's a much more uh, difficult course to drive around, this is going to require a huge amount of concentration. Though, I have a feeling we have something in our favour for the pit lane to even it out. The fact that we don't have to take that chicane and slow down on the main straight. Which, that will easily slow down any cars coming. Uh, but hopefully, not be too bad. Mm -hmm. 
Very nice. As much as I want to stay out for five laps, I don't want to risk it. Um, so I'm going to go in after this lap. We're going to fill up to a maximum tank of fuel. And then however much fuel we use on three laps, we're then going to pit in and match that. But we're going to be maxing out for those three laps. Um, so that then we can max out for the three laps afterwards. I feel like we've got a plan. We've got a very solid plan. Not too many holes in it. This, should, this race should take 24 minutes. 23, 24 minutes, roughly. Yeah, there's definitely not enough fuel for an extra lap. Okay. That is lucky that they didn't give us a penalty for that. So I thank you, Polyphony. Ah, we went off the track. No. Okay. Right. Maximum fuel. There we go. Perfect. Go, 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 go. Right. Get your fuel. Get your fuel. Fuel it up to the max. Get those tyres sorted. What on earth is this pit lane? Where's my pit crew? Does it just magically change the tyres? What, what on earth is this? Polyphony, what have you done? You are joking me. What on earth is my pit bay? It is right at the end there. It crashes as the car tries to pull away. Ah, oh, that's unlucky. That's unlucky. Unfortunately, the other cars won't be taken. Taking as many laps. As many pit stops, sorry. We'll be taking an extra one, I think, compared to everyone else. I mean, if the game wants to rain at any point for me, you're more than welcome to. This is going to be an interesting race. I'm very sorry for that. Not. Here we go. We're coming up with a Gallardo and the Reventon. Where did the Murcielago go then? Did he pit in with me? Actually, I think the car that pitted might have been the Veyron. So Veyron isn't anywhere to be seen. What is a Reventon doing? Four, three. First place. The other cars are lucky buggers though. They don't have the problems that I have to deal with.
Obviously, we're pitting for fuel anyway, so uh, we might as well change the tyres as well while we're at it. Three point six seconds. Hopefully the car behind hasn't pitted yet. Oh no, why am I saying hopefully they haven't? I did not think this through for the uh, two pit stop tactic. If I get stuck in the pit lane again, though, oh my god. Devastation. So we've used three-eighths of the fuel so far, and we haven't even finished... So I think we're just going to aim for three quarters of a tank of fuel on our uh, second slot. It's the only option we have, really. Uh, but look how much distance we've actually gained on um, second place. To be fair, second place is probably going to start pitting this lap. close there. Nearly didn't make it around the corner, but that is not a problem because we are experienced enough to not have to worry about that. I say that like we actually know how to drive. We don't. I don't. I definitely don't. 21 seconds, that's enough for a short pit stop. It's not enough when you're crashing though. Try and avoid that, please. Don't do that again. Right. Here we go. Nice, 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 nice. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, so we've used uh, two and a half of those, like, Segments. Okay, back in the pits. What is it doing? Why did it not give me the choice? We are done for. We've lost this race. We will have lost it. We didn't even get to pit. We didn't get to... You made me go through the pits for nothing. Okay, okay, right. Challenge is on. Challenge accepted then. Because we need to pit anyways. What was that? Hashtag game broken. 
Okay, so once we're done then, we're aiming for just under half a tank of fuel then. We're going to have to watch our entry for the pits from now on for this lap. Because if we don't make it and do that again, it's game over. We will not get enough for an extra lap. To be fair, we have the same distance we had when we were about to pit, but we now have one less lap to gain anything that we lose now. That was like a drive through penalty. That was ridiculous. Sixteen seconds. I think that should be enough to give us maybe an extra. We'll be about four seconds behind, maybe. Right, take it very carefully through here. In we go. Okay. So we won. That's half a tank. 40. Go for it. Come on, come on, come on. We don't want 40. That's too much. Okay, we made it out. There's first place and second place there. That was so lucky. We are going to be pushing. I will say now, the pit lane in Ascari is a bit of a nightmare. I will say that. If they're bringing the Ascari track back, they need a proper pit lane. If they're going to have 16 cars, or 24 like they have in uh, Gran Turismo Sport. And the fact that the actual pit crew isn't there, a little bit trippy. But I'm not going to complain about that. I am, however, going to complain about the fact that I basically took a drive through. But I think we have enough fuel, anyways. I will laugh if the cars behind me I actually have to take an extra pit stop. Perfect. That was very good. This is one of the best uh, super races I've done yet. Probably in performance wise, like actually performing really well, except for pit entries. Those went wrong both times. Third time was all right. even get a penalty for that it is pretty cool though the fact that it didn't rain in this race I do like that no rain no game though am I right
very good. Look at that corner. I am seriously looking forward to um, playing Gran Turismo 7. Yeah, Gran Turismo 7. I'm also looking forward to uh, getting a PS2 at some point. Um, and playing through Gran Turismo 1, 2, 3 and 4. Because apparently the PS2 is completely backwards compatible with PS1. Which is epic. So it's going to be exciting to play through all of them. And I feel like that's going to be like a... I think I might do Gran Turismo Tuesday. So after this series, there's not going to be like big amounts. But every Tuesday I'll go and I'll do a video on Gran Turismo on all of them. We'll see how that goes. Um, obviously, like that's like Gran Turismo Tuesday of the walkthroughs. But we'll we'll see how the plan goes. Because I don't think it's going to be till next year when I start that. Um, unless I start like get it earlier. Because uh, this is. Uh, the 2nd of July I'm recording this on. Oh, there we go. That's it done. Race finished. 2nd of July I'm recording this on, so this video has probably come out in November. Probably. So, quite a long way away. But still fun, because that was a good race. The Diablo actually overtook the Hawaii right at the end. Um, and it won. Well, it came second. We won. In a green Lamborghini Aventador. Very nice. LFA are only getting 13th position though. Um, and in fact, the Mercia Largo is exactly six places faster as a Super Veloc. Interesting. And the Reventon, eighth place. Very disappointed. Wait, was that the Veyron in 12th or 11th? Impressive. That is impressive how you, the Veyron failed that badly. <laughs> but there we go. 133,000 credits and three Twinkle Twinkle stars. That was the worst thing I have ever said. If I ever say that again, please, please put me down. Thank you. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord, and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. I will take you